Hello, Grand Island, and welcome to Viking Vision News. I'm Taylor. And I'm Jay. Today is Tuesday, October 19th, and it's a day three. <sighs> Lots of news and highlights coming your way, and we get started now with Interactive Club, whose meeting is today. After school, 225 in room 211, we'll be expecting to elect officers and planning our community service activity for the year. New members are always welcome. It's a great way to give back and help others, so please try and come to Interact Club meeting today. Do it. Giving back. Yeah, you better, because it's always good to give back. For all of your business savvy kids out there, the DECA membership and installation money is due this week. Please see Ms. Chamberlain in room 171 ASAP with questions. Any questions? Any. Everyone get ready to be inspired. Inspired is a book club that is deeper than a Bible club and a place of encouragement. Come to our meetings each and every Tuesday and be ready to discover something new. Everyone is welcome and we hope to see you there. Today's meeting is after school in Mr. Sweeney's room, room 201. You going, Jay? I kind of want to we'll now. be there. I will. Winter is coming and it's starting to get cold outside. Aw, yeah. yeah. So enjoy the cold weather and get outdoors. Sign up for the Grand Island Student Ski Club. Hol Holiday Value open a new run, so it should be a solid eight weeks of winter fun. <laughs> Pick up your application in the Viking Mall by the high school main office. <laughs> All right, GI, it's time to show your school spirit and join the Blue Crew. Woo! You can become part of the second highest cheerleading section in Western New York, besides the cheerleaders, respectively. Join Blue Crew today. T-shirts cost just $10 in room 186. The t-shirt features a blue crew symbol on the front with your nickname on the back. A reminder, when you order, you have to pay. So come to the blue crew today. Ooh, I like the rhyme. Oh. Oh, yeah. For anyone unhappy with their school picture, but I mean, who could be unhappy who, who with could? this? I know, right? You it's see beautiful. it? Beautiful. Nice. Oh, yeah. Anyway, picture retakes with East Coast images will take place all day in the high school upper gym. So, Jay, do you know how to speak French? Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh, well, I've been trying to learn it, but I, I can't get the hang of it. Mm. Well, you know what would really help you out? What? Why, a trip to France, of course. Oh, that was a good idea, but see, I don't have anybody to go with. Oh, yeah, you do. If you want to see the Eiffel Tower, try some escargot, then come to room 150 at 225 today. Hear all about the right. trip to France and Italy. Très bien. Oh, wow, that's a great idea. Speaking of Italy, the sophomore class will begin selling pizza after school in the Viking Mall every Tuesday and Thursday for 150 a slice. Beginning right after school, come and grab a slice. I will take four. I will take two. That's three dollars. Three dollars. That sounds delicious. You know it. Well, not the dollars. The pizza, of course. The F -F well, anyways, hey, all you Sabres fans, Rob Ray and the Buffalo Sabres alumni will play our faculty and staff from GI in a charity basketball contest on November 16th. Ooh, basketball. At 7 p.m. in our gym. Presale tickets are available during lunches in the large calf today and tomorrow. Only costs five a ticket, folks. It's just, just five. And proceeds go towards a scholarship for the Gizba Corporate Bowl. On a side note, if you would like to sell tickets for volunteer time, see Ms. Chamberlain, room 171. That's right, GI. It's all about giving back. Aw, Community yeah. Community service is where it's at. That's right. And now for your Viking Vision Sports. The cross-country teams wa raced well at All an Invitational on Saturday. The boys' team took first place against a strong field of opponents. Nick Massiello and Derek Stacey ran a strong races, placing fourth and sixth, respectively. Oops. The girls' team took sixth overall with Megan Carpey bringing in the first place at 19th. The next team meeting is today against Lockport and Ken East at Beaver Island Park. Beginning at 4.30. Sounds exciting. Let's go make it a run walk. You want to just walk? Yeah, I, I'll walk as let's, they let's run. Let's do that. Yeah. I like it. But, well, you know, the Lady Vikings Volleyball, they took care of business Friday versus Luport. Tonight's is senior night versus Ken West at 4.30 p.m. in the main gym. So come on out and cheer on our girls. Mm. There's also a girl swimming and diving. Senior night versus North Tonawana tonight. Senior night. Their meet will take place at home in the Viking Pool beginning at 5 p.m. That's five the natatorium, that's people. Be natatorium. <laughs> and the boys' volleyball team hit the road at Ken West starting at 4.30. Now, I'm sure everyone's seen the crazy new haircut sported by some of our senior athletes. It's playoff time, Grand Island. Oh, yeah. Come out and support GI varsity football team in the first round of the sectional playoff against Will South Billies. The number two ranked team in Western New York at 7 p.m. Friday night, under the night, under the lights, Williamsville South. 
I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> I'm going to go. Blue crew. Oh, it's going to be go. so exciting. Oh, I remember last year when we were in the same position. We were playing the Billies on a cold, stormy night. And the Vikings pulled through, got the win, go forward to the second round of the playoff. Let's hope they do the same thing. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Vikings advanced to their playoffs thanks to their regular season finale victory at Kenny Saturday. Watch here as Nick Rossi buries the Kenny's quarterback into the ground to set the tone for the Vikings. Pat Gallagher takes advantage on the next possession, weaving through the Bulldogs' defense for 20 yards. That leads to this 15-yard pass and catch from Tom Jowski to Nick Kellner. Touchdown, Vikings all tied up at 7. Gallagher would score on a short run to give the Vikes their lead, and later catching this 43-yard bomb from Jowski. Sweet. Eddie Cressus hauls in the short five-yard pass from Jowski for the touchdown. GI up 21-7. Vikings round out the scoring with this five-yard Gallagher touchdown run. Final score, GI 35, Kenny's 14. Great game, guys. Can't wait till Friday night. Good luck, guys. Now the time to wrap up the show with today's words of wisdom. Hello, Grand Island. I'm Nikki with today's Viking Values message of the day. Editorial cartoonist Frank Tiger once said, There is no greater loan than a sympathetic ear. What he means is just by listening to someone when they are upset, you can provide great comfort, and that can make all the difference. And that's today's Viking Values message of the day. And remember, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Have a great day, Grand Island. Thanks, cuz. Way to support that pink shirt. Okay. Well, that's all, G.I. Another day, another newscast. I've had fun. I'm Taylor. And I'm Jay. Rock on, Grand Island. We're, We're out. out. <laughs>